Hello. You know, there's an ancient parable that says that uh, the fool cuts himself with his own tongue. Oh my goodness, how right that is. So right now, I'm going to use quantum theory to destroy quantum theory. Here we got Bohr and Planck and uh, the cult master. We have Einstein also. We have the cult master, Richard Feynman. Uh, Richard Feynman. Tricky Dicky. He's dead now. Um, what does the term quantum mean? It, it doesn't mean anything. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of the definition of the term quantum. First, let's start off uh, with the uh, connotative implication, and then we'll go to the denotative implication of the term quantum. Quantum means quantity, means materialism, i.e. atomism. Quantum ultimately is a uh, cult of bumping particles. That's correct. At its very core, quantum is a cult of bumping particles, interactions of particles. But everything is just particles, subatomic particles, invisible particles, unicorn particles, things that are fading in and out of uh, nowhere, completely absurd insanity, something that even a drunk lunatic hopped up on Vicodin could not even dream up in a lucid nightmare. Okay, and let's go on to the denotative, meaning their own definition of the term quantum. Okay, and then let's use quantum to destroy the premise of quantum. In other words, I'm going to quote uh, Richard Feynman, the cult figurehead of quantum theory. I'm going to use him to destroy his uh, very beloved child. Okay, quantum, a discrete quantum, a quantity of energy proportional to the magnitude and frequency of the radiation it represents. Actually, even the people in quantum will tell you that um, quantum is ultimately about discrete energy. Okay, By discrete, we mean things that uh, we actually cannot quantize. <laughs> you see, energy has no quantity. Neither does a field, by the way. The key word here is energy, but what they really mean is fields. Quantum is the Latin word for amount, and in modern understanding, it means the smallest possible discrete unit of energy or property. Um, first uh, mention of uh, quantity, uh, quantum uh, was uh, Max Planck and the writing mathematical equation of, uh, of uh, Planck's constant, and it's a relationship of, uh, of uh, energy, of light, however they call that the photon energy. Of course, there's no such damn thing as a photon. It's a completely absurd abstraction. That, as I showed you in a prior video made like less than a week ago, was invented by a psychopath and a lunatic with a degree in psychology who was interested in parapsychical research. In other words, a total wackadoodle nut job crackpot. So the person who invented the term photon, as I showed you in that prior video, was a crackpot. So now we actually have uh, the term quantum based upon Planck's constant. Uh, Equation, which is energy equals nu, i.e. Planck's constant, times f, the frequency. Very simple equation. Quantum in reality actually means a field, but there's never been any branch of physics or any branch of quantum mechanics, which of course is not a field, it's not science at all, ever define a field. A field in principle has never and nowhere ever been defined. I will give a million dollars to any one of you out there that is a brain-dead idiot and you are, because if you believe this, you're a brain-dead idiot. Oh, my God, that's so arrogant. I'll give you a million dollars to interview you. You can go find the book that gives a definition of a field in principle. And I don't mean Maxwellian field equations. Maxwellian field equations never define a field. They are only expressions of field modalities as expressed over a vector over a given period of time with an end result. So the four Maxwellian field equations never define what the hell a field is, only how a field is expressed in effect over a vector uh, with uh, X amount of uh, effect due to uh, causation at a vector over a period of time. That's the easiest way to actually define or lump the four Maxwellian field equations together. So now let's quote Tricky Dicky, our Richard Feynman here. See, quantum ultimately is only about energy, but energy is really only in reference to fields. And here is our tricky dicky on energy. It is important to realize that in physics today, we have no knowledge of what energy is. <laughs> this is from the cult figurehead of quantum mechanics. 
It's important to realize today that we have no knowledge of what energy is. Okay, so quantum mechanics, quantum theory, which is based on energy, which is actually based on fields, but fields are not particles, they're not entities. Oh, but according to them, they are. They're magic particles called virtual photons. Yeah, they actually believe in this shit, which is not the input or output of any experiment ever done, ever. I've actually had some morons try to debate me on that. They're like, yeah, sure, we've... Ex we've, ex uh, <laughs> we, we've, we've discovered virtual... You know what the term virtual means? That's like saying you actually ran into like Super Mario uh, Brothers out on the sidewalk. Or uh, what's another like uh, uh, you know uh, you know joystick game character that uh, you know what's like Cubert? <laughs> like these virtual entities, like cartoon. You ran into Tom and Jerry. You ran into Yosemite Sam. <laughs> you ran into a Disney. You ran into Donald Duck. You see, these are virtual entities. Literally, according to quantum mechanics, and this is, it sounds so batshit crazy, but they actually believe this, that the magnetic field is actually governed by uh, virtual photons. Now, this is their own belief. This shit is stranger than the dumbest cult invented by a science fiction writer that I won't name that's based in Central Florida somewhere. I won't name that crazy-ass cult, but you probably know what I'm referring to. This is more crazy than their crap. This is more crazy than their crap. According to quantum mechanics, uh, Mother Nature is a schizophrenic cooker on crack. Okay? You think that's hyperbole, but it's completely factual. That is what quantum mechanics posits, that the universe is, you know, uh, uh, you know is crazy nonsense that is unimaginable and random and uh, you can actually influence it by mere observation. They literally think that Mother Nature, for lack of a better term, actually there is a better term, but you people don't understand what it means, is natura naturans, but we could say Mother Nature. Uh, Mother Nature is a schizophrenic cooker on crack. Not only that, but she's cross-eyed and senile. <laughs> Quantum mechanics has never been able to explain the EPR experiment. If you don't know what the EPR experiment is, you should look it up. It's never explained what a, mag uh, a magnetic field It's never explained any field, but it certainly doesn't understand what the hell magnetism is. It has never explained IAAD, which is instantaneous action at a distance. It's absolutely impossible. For uh... If aliens, by the way were to land, and they're like, we've been studying your shit, you know, for 20 years now, you crazy-ass humans. We've realized now we had a hard time defining the word quantum that some of you crazy, dumb-ass humans throw around. We finally figured it out, and the alien, you know, the human says, well, what does it mean? You know, what did you figure out? Well, we figured out that you dumb humans use the word quantum anytime you refer to something uh, that is based in fields and that which you do not understand. <laughs> Now the way that is what would happen if like aliens had been studying us and they landed, you know, as a thought experiment here. They would say, We finally realized what quantum it was hard for us to define because we're so logical and you humans are so stupid. Well, we finally figured it out. You use the word quantum anytime you talk about something that you fundamentally have no damn idea what it is or how it works. <laughs> That's really the truth of the matter. So when we talk about quantum mechanics, the true definition of quantum mechanics is shit we don't understand um, study. The study of crap we don't understand. Except we've reified that as something, not me, because I'm not involved in quantum mechanics. They've actually reified it as something that we, they assume that they understand. But according to the cult figurehead of quantum mechanics, you know, quantum, of course, is based in energy by their own definition. But they say, you know, we have no idea what energy is. So the branch of quantum mechanics or quantum physics, which is based in energy, but which is really based in fields, okay, they have no idea what the hell energy is by their own admission. That's a direct quote from Tricky Dicky there. They can never explain instantaneous. This is what they actually say a magnetic field is. A magnetic field between two magnetic dipoles. This is from quantum mechanics, these brain dead assholes. It is caused by the exchange of virtual photons. 
Virtual photons is are as real as Yosemite Sam and Bugs Bunny running into them in the street. You know, hey, I ran into Bugs Bunny <laughs> in a virtual photon. These are not the inputs or outputs of any experiment ever done. It is a mere reification, a conceptual brain fart from the minds of what Tesla referred to as, direct quote from Tesla, ha, ah, make note, Tesla referred to these assholes as people that think deeply but are insane. Tesla said you can think deeply and yet still be insane. Mental asylums are full of people that are not really stupid. I mean, people think of the stupid as like some illiterate redneck. Howdy, y'all. We think that mental asylums are full of like dumbasses, right? Like, you know, we, we've, we've run into Banjo Land somewhere in southern Georgia. <laughs> mental asylums are full of really deep thinkers. Some of them like are famously chess champions or... You know, they can do, like, differential equations in their head, but they're insane. They're just batshit insane. Quantum mechanics and the people that believe in this shit, and it's a religion. It's a religion of deep-thinking dumbasses. People that are very, very deep thinkers, but they're also so deep that they're in the dark. I mean, they can't see clearly. They can't see the forest for that. They invent crazy shit to explain things. What's some of the crazy shit that they think? They even refer to their own stupid religion, which it is a religion. Quantum mechanics is spooky. By their own definition, they refer to it as spooky. Uh, they refer to it as crazy. Um, another quote from uh, Tricky Dicky, you know, the cult figurehead of quantum mechanics, oh, rest his soul, the poor dead bastard. He said that uh, his exact quote is, if, if anybody tells you, now, I think he said, it's it's true that uh, nobody today truly understands quantum mechanics. And he meant the people that are deeply into it. In other words, it, it's insane, illogical nonsense that even they can't make heads or tails out of. The term quantum, in its contextual usage, specifically does refer to shit that modern science does not understand. That's what it literally means. I thought you meant it meant energy. Well, by their own definition, it does, and refers back to Planck's constant. And Einstein, the idiot, referred to it as das Liquant in uh, describing a quantum das Liquant. And they also base it upon a, uh, an observer effect of wave particle duality. But they don't understand what the hell light is. Ultimately, all of quantum mechanics finds its roots in the human stupidity of not understanding what a pulse perturbation, longitudinal, transmission i.e. light is well you know you observe it one way it's light it's like a particle they observe it another way it's like a wave well it's both and neither it's a coaxial circuit it's a pulse perturbation it's a longitudinal dielectric with result everything is a right hand rule what do you think is going off of off of the longitudinal pulse perturbation the dielectric in light at right at 90 degrees we have pulse perturbations whether it's coaxial polarization or linear polarization we have transverse em light is not electromagnetic it that's half the story the true story is a longitudinal pulse perturbation light doesn't even travel it's a field perturbation but you see quantum mechanics and no branch of physics has ever defined what the fuck a field is because they have no idea they also think there are different field modalities they think there's dielectric field, there's magnetic field, there's a gravitational field magnetic field to think that there are different uh, field modalities gravity electricity magnetism is as stupid as a dumbass child who thinks that uh, steam is one thing water is another thing and ice is something else, and you go, oh no, my little child, oh no, oh no, all that shit is water. Various modalities of water, my little child, water. Steam is water. Ice is water. Uh-huh. <laughs> modern science is not either very modern, nor is it very bright. Oh, sure it is. Look at all this crazy shit we got these days. We got these neat computers, and... You know, we've got uh, you've got all sorts of crazy crap, you know. We have NASA, and we have uh, cell phones, and we have iPads. Of course we're advanced. We know what the fuck's going on in the world. No, little children, we don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't. 
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, drop a buck or two. Or tell me to jump off a cliff. Either way, whatever makes you happy. Whatever tickles your pickle. But I can guarantee you this. Quantum is not what you think it is. You know? Hey, this is my quantum mouse, you know? It sends a wireless signal to this computer here. You know, there's no wires. That way, that's why it is a quantum device. This is a quantum... <laughs> quantum is a meaningless word at its very core. And the people that support it are a pile of dumbasses. They literally invent shit to make their equations balance. So we can't figure our math. Then we can't get this math to balance out. Well, how would you solve this problem? Well, if we if we created something that's really neat, and let's call it a virtual particle, and then we're going to assign it an entity, and then we'll plug that shit into our equations. Yeah. That's exactly what they do, by the way. <laughs> a bunch of morons. <laughs> Well-educated, highly acclaimed, um, prestigious, you know, tenured. Oh, a tenure is the most important thing. Morons. But in reality, they're knuckle-dragging subhuman idiots. It's a cult. It's a religion. It has no basis in reality, and it certainly has nothing to do with the nature itself. Theirs is a fantasy of unreality. Bye.